Come in. I'm washing my hands. Hi, Mr. Hoffman. Hello. My name is Nancy. I'm a nurse from Harper College. Oh, nice to meet you. How are you today? Doing very well, thank you. Good. We're going to be doing an assessment of your musculoskeletal system. Sounds good. So that's your muscles and your joints. Okay. Any history of joint disease? Arthritis? Uh, my mom had arthritis and my sister has arthritis. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it rheumatoid arthritis, do you uh, know, or is it osteoarthritis? Well, I think with my sister it's uh, more rheumatoid. Okay. Yeah. And how about you? Do you have any arthritis? No. There's no detection of it. Okay. All right. Any other problems with your joints or muscles or pain that we should, limited movement that we should know about? No. 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 Not that I know of. All right, so we're going to start like and go in a head to toe fashion. Okay. So I'm going to start with your temporal mandibular joint, and I would like you to open your mouth and then kind of stick your, your chin out and in and side to side. All right, and what I am palpating for is any clicking or crepitation. Do you feel any clicking or anything abnormal with that? No. Any pain with doing that? No. All right, no. so for each joint, I'm inspecting, looking to see if I see anything abnormal, redness, swelling, uh, masses, and I'm palpating for anything abnormal like clicking or crepitus, and then I'm looking, um, some of the joints we check for just movement, and some we check for movement and for strength. So I do that for each set of joints. So next we're going to assess your uh, spinal, um, your cerebral spine. So if you could actually stand up for me and turn around and then um, just put your chin to your chest for me for a second and I'm just going to palpate the spinal processes in the neck all the way down to the one C7 which is very prominent it's very easy to know and then I can feel that this is straight all right good you can have a seat again and then I want to check range of motion of your neck so can you put your chin to your chest and look back at the ceiling look up at the ceiling and then turn your head side to side, side to side, and put your ear to your shoulder, and your ear to your shoulder. All right, and I'm gonna test strength. So can you turn against my hand? Good, and turn against my hand. Good, <clears throat> fantastic. So that's normal range of motion for, and strength for your neck. So next, moving down to the shoulders, I am gonna have to have you stand up for this. Have you stand right here. So for your shoulder assessment, I want you to go sideways like this, lift your hands all the way up and put them behind your head. Okay, good, and all the way down. All right, and then I want you to swing them this way, all the way up, and then all the way back, and behind your back. Okay, good. All right, and relax, and then lift your shoulders up against my hands. But it feels nice and strong. Any problems with your shoulders? No. And I'm palpating for anything abnormal, any pain or tenderness with that? No. And then I'm going to move down and I'm going to palpate the elbows. I do not see anything abnormal here. And then I'm going to have you bend your elbows up and put them down straight. And then hold them out like this and turn over and turn over again. All right, I'm going to check the strength of your elbows. Pull towards yourself. Pull hard. Okay, good. And then pull hard with this one. Good. All right, so your range of motion and your strength in your elbows is normal. Now I'm going to have you put your hands out like this. And I want you to put your wrists down and your wrists back up. And spread your fingers apart. And put your fingers back together. And then put your hands out straight just your fingers down and up all right and then put your hands over and bend your fingers and I'm just checking strength of your fingers good and I'm going to do over here too I'm checking strength of your fingers good and then I'm also going to palpate this is very important with palpating the wrist and the hand there are a tremendous number of bones here so you want to really do a good job of palpating all of these joints all the way down the fingers. I do not feel anything enlarged or abnormal, any pain with that? No. Any pain with any of your, do you do a lot of typing at your work? 
Uh, use the computer quite often, yes. Any, any difficulty with your wrists or your fingers with that? No. Okay. Relax, just relax. I'm just checking. Okay. All right, good. <clears throat> Let's have you have a seat up here, and we're going to move on to your hips. And I am going to have you lay back, and we'll put your feet up. And then what I want you to do first is I'm going to just palpate here on the sides where your hips are. Any pain with that? No. Any problems with your hips? No. Okay. So with this leg, I want you to move it out this way as far as you can. There you go. And then back in. And then I want you to lift it up and down. And then I want you to bend at the knee and lift it up as far as you can. Okay. And come in. And then also come out. Good. And down. And then I want you to move your out your your leg out against my hands. Push against my hands. Good. And then pull against in against my hands. Okay, good. Alright, same thing with this leg. Move it out as far as you can. And back in. Good. And up as far as you can. And down. And then bend your knee. And come up. And come in in and out as far as you can. Okay, good. And down. And then pull your leg out as far against my hands. Good. And push in. Okay, good. All right. I'm going to actually skip the knees for right now, and I'm going to move down to your feet because you have your uh, feet up here where I can see them. And I'm going to palpate again with the feet and the ankles. There are a lot of bones in the feet and ankles. So you want to do a good job of palpating all those little bones in the feet, all the way down to the toes. Same thing, both feet, make sure that you palpate all those bones. All right, and then can you push against my hands? Good, and pull up against my hands? All right, good. And then I want you to put your toes together. Your, can you put your toes together like that? Good. And can you put them back out? Out like this. And then can you put your feet together like this? And can you pull them out? Can you, can you put them out this way at all? Like this? Okay. All right. Let's have you sit up. And then we're actually going to go back to your knees at this point. And I'm going to palpate your knees. This tends to be a problem area for people sometimes. Any problems with your knees? No. Any pain when you walk? No. Do you do, you, um, you do some walking or bike riding? Well, sometimes in the when I'm bike riding, I'll hear a little bit. It almost sounds a little bit like cartilage, but uh, you know, like a click. But like a little click, but I don't, but I don't feel any. You just hear the click. Just hear a click once in a while. Yeah. All right. But not not all the time. Okay. Can you scoot? back a little? No, 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 don't lay down. I just want you to scoot your bottom back a little bit. Not, not quite that much. There you go, that's good. Okay, so, all right, can you straighten your legs out? And can you bend them? All right, so push against my hands. Good, and pull against my hands. Good, push against my hands, and pull. All right, good. Okay, let's stand up on the side. <coughs> All right, so right here, I want you to stand right here, but you put your hand there. Well, you can put your other hand there. There you go. Okay, so put your leg out straight, as straight as it'll go, and then bend your knee up as far as it'll go. Okay, and then do the same with this one. And bend as best as it will bend. Okay, good. Stand up, and then turn around. I'm gonna be looking at your spine, and can you, can you take this off for a second? So I'm palpating all the spinous processes all the way down the back, all the way down, all the way down. Okay, and then after palpating the spine, or before, it doesn't matter uh, which order that you do it in, when looking for the straightness of the spine, we're looking for symmetry of the um, shoulders, the scapula, the hips, and the gluteal folds. And then we are also, can you, can you bend over and touch your feet? 
when he bends over, we're looking for still symmetry of the shoulders and scapula, and we should see a C curve, okay? So the, the spine should be curved like this during that bending over. And then can you stand back up, please? And then when we're looking at the spine from the side, what we are looking at is that the thoracic spine should have that convex curvature, and then the lumbar should have the concave curvature. So you see you have a curve and another curve, and that's a normal uh, curve of the spine. So I'm also going to check range of motion of the spine. So can you put your hands on your hips and bend side to side? Side to side, all right. And then without moving your hips, can you turn this way and this way? Okay, without moving your hips, turn that way. Okay, and the other way. Okay, and I think we've checked out all your muscles and your joints. They all seem to be in good shape. They feel good. All right, so that concludes the musculoskeletal assessment.